Konnichiwa everybody, I'm Chief Skarnik. Welcome to the second bonus episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. It's been, what, since last September that I touched this game? And I was too busy with other stuff, including the Poke Park games, that I didn't have time to do this. And for those of you who don't know, this is actually a redo episode. I originally had a, another second bonus episode of Kingdom Hearts, but it was an utter failure, so I took it down. And now here I am trying at it again. Off screen, I did a crap ton of training, and I did something called item synthesis. Donald's doing whatever, I don't even know. Now, item synthesis is a very, uh, I don't even know how to say, um, tedious and monotonous. Because what you need to do is that you need to um, synthesize several items to create all of this stuff. You need to make all of this so you can be able to unlock this the Ultima weapon I'm gonna go ahead and synthesize this right now because I'm desperately going to be needing this so let's go ahead and equip it the Ultima weapon this is the strongest keyblade in the game so yes and it raises your MP by two so now that we're armed with the strongest keyblade in the game we are now going to head off to fight some optional bosses. Isn't that fun? I don't think it is. Because these bosses are, is basically the reason why I sucked so much in the first second bonus episode, in the first recording. So I'm going to try this again and hopefully, um, <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to do better, even though I probably won't considering how my luck is. And, well, I'm going to hope for the best. Now, the first optional boss is what happens when you arrive here at Aladdin's house. Here we find Magic Carpet, who's doing some really weird, funky dance. I don't know what that's about, so we're going to talk to him. What's the matter? You want to go somewhere? Uh, sure. I'll ride on the carpet. I'll ride on the carpet. This will take you to a different area of the desert. Where we get to fight this thing. This thing is called the Kurt Ziza. Or I think that's what it's called. The funny thing about this boss is that it was actually named after a winner of a Kingdom Hearts prize. I don't know what the contest was about, but whoever won got got to have their name in the game. And the person who won was named Kurt Ziza, so, he's an, so now he's a boss. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks for being such an annoying boss in the game. If I ever meet you in real life, I'm probably going to punch you in the face. Ouch! I don't know about this boss. That'd be awesome. I don't know about this con that contest. I'd love to have my name in a game. That'd be awesome. But I don't want my name to be an incredibly annoying boss. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that for free. So yeah, the first phase of the boss is not really that hard. You just need to attack those glowing orbs that it's holding, and then you can just whack away at its head. It's annoying cobra head, which I guess is the close that we're going to get to for a snake enemy in this game since there's no Cobra Jafar which honestly I think it's a little disappointing now he's in some kind of magic barrier this is annoying because well he can only be damaged through magic now he goes back and forth um, between only being able to be hit by magic and physical attacks and those bombs that it lays are annoying as all farts So make sure you bring a lot of ethers and elixirs into this fight. It will help you out substantially. Also, MP Rage would also be a good ability to to equip. Especially equip it on Goofy because Goofy doesn't do that much magic. So now that we got that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and whack away at its snake head again. And I'm doing a lot better than I did last time, I'm surprised. Probably because I did a lot of off-screen training. I'm like at level 76, I think. But even with that, I'm not sure if that's even enough for the other bosses I'm going to be facing in these bonus episodes. 
So now we can only do physical attack, no magic. We can't even cure ourselves. Which is sucky. So if you want to cure yourselves, you need to go through your items. But that attack it did right there, it's the most annoying attack he does. And if somehow you you can magically avoid it with no problem at all, then this boss shouldn't be that difficult. However, the other bosses in this game, the other optional bosses, are hard as fart. I swear, they're some of the hardest bosses in video game history. And because if you thought Ansem was difficult, wait till you see these other bosses that we had that are in store for us. But this guy just likes to move a lot. Owie. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no. Don't goopy are dead. Well, there's that. Gone. One more to go. Oh, come on. Cut me a break. Cut me a break. Come on. There we go. Okay, now his health in the green. That's a good sign. No, 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 no. I'm not done with you yet. Okay. Magic time. Uh, stop moving around. Okay. Ether. Yeah, I needed it. Stop it! Yeah, it has these little magic balls come out of the ground. Where you need, where you basically need to keep moving. If you stop, then most likely one of them is going to come up and bite you in the butt. Sweet. Let's see if I can finish him off here. Oh, oh so close! And good thing I was able to heal just in time before he put that magic spell on me, so I can't use magic. I have a really good feeling about this fight here, but I don't have a good feeling about this part. Because again, this part is what makes this boss incredibly difficult sometimes. Is that one attack he does, it's nearly unavoidable. I'm not going to magic, I'm going to items. Because I need to heal. Come on. Ouch. Stop moving around. Let me kill you. You've already caused me a lot of pain in the first recording. I'm not going to have you do that to me again. Come on, I'm almost done with you. I'm almost done with you. Ouch. Come on. Seriously? There we go. Yes. And that's Kurt Ziza, everybody. My advice, level up a lot so this boss isn't as difficult bring a lot of elixirs because usually the magic portions are usually what's really annoying other than that spinning attack when you can't do magic and he lets out a heart container and he's done for go us we're awesome And that took only 10 minutes, wow. Okay. 
now we're going to head into the gummy ship. And we're going to try our hand at the next optional boss we can do in this game. Oh, God help us. It's found in Neverland. This is probably uh, the optional boss that gave me the most trouble. I could do some of the other ones, but I just want to save them for last because they're usually the ones that are like notorious for being incredibly hard. So I'm going to save those for probably next time, hopefully. Just hopefully. Okay. I'm actually going to quickly save because I don't want to go through all that crap again. Okay. And... Oh, one more thing. You need, you need to have Peter Pan in your party. So I'm going to switch him out for Donald. Because you want the other party member to be goofy. Trust me on this one. Why do you need Peter Pan? Because only Peter Pan can talk to Tinkerbell. And Tinkerbell tells you that he, she wants to go to the clock tower. <sighs> let's go. Okay, let's fly together. And here we're back in London. How I've missed you, London. This boss. Oh crap, you know what I should have done? I should have gotten elixirs and ethers. That would have helped me so much. This is the Phantom. This boss is incredibly annoying. You have no idea how annoying this boss is once you faced it. As you can tell, there's like some little orb inside it. That orb corresponds with the kind of attack you need to attack it with. Like for example, if it's red, you need to use fire. If it's yellow, you need to use thunder. And every now and then, like Peter Pan is, you're going to have a, a counter on you. What that does is that it's basically a doomsday clock. Whoops, that didn't, white means physical attack. Anyways, the count, the clock down on your head is, is like the worst attack that can ever happen to you. Because what happens is that you will only have a certain amount of time before you die. So all you can do now is just keep attacking away. Now Goofy has it. I heard there is a way to stop it by going over to the clock tower here and using the stop spell. It'll postpone the countdown only for a limited time. But it doesn't stop it completely because after a certain amount of time, when stop wears off, it's going to resume. And it starts with Peter Pan, then it does it to Goofy or Donald, whoever you use, and then you. If you do not beat this guy in that amount of time, you are dead. So now you can probably see why I hate this boss so much. Just keep an eye on the clock tower. Keep an eye on the clock tower and, the, and an eye on the number over your party member's head. Because it'll tell you when the, when the countdown is resuming. So that'll give you another idea to go to the clock tower again and you stop again. sucks that I have to scroll down to use Blizzard. I love how Peter, Peter Pan's still like following us. Okay, it's resuming. Let's go down and use stop again. Okay, it's yellow, use thunder. And now it's red, use fire. It's blue, now use Blizzard. I said use Blizzard. Okay, thunder, physical attack, blizzard. I'm surprising doing, I'm fairly surprised doing very well. It's not, usually sometimes if you're really at a high level and you know how this boss works, usually it's not too hard. It just takes a while. This is a long boss. Because you need to just, need to slowly 
and slowly but surely chip away its HP. Okay. I'm surprised the countdown hasn't really resumed at all. Oh, I just had to, I just had to open my mouth, and I can't. Oh, well, now I can. Where is he? Oh no, Goofy's dead? Crap, now I'm on my own. No doubt about it, he's doing on me now. Or he's just gonna send that thing at me. I hate you. White, physical, red, fire. Physical. Whoops! And now he's doing it on me. Crap, 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 crap. And I don't have enough magic to do it! Okay. I only have seven. I'm only at seven. Crap. This is bad. Come here! Come here! Ow! Nope, didn't mean to do that. Meant to use Blizzard. This boss just is just a long fight, too. It also really doesn't help that you just need to constantly use stop. Just to postpone the countdown to your doom. Stop it! Move! Stop moving! Whoops. I really need to remember to stop pushing R L1 whenever I'm trying to attack him. And it's and the countdown's going down again. And I'm only at four. I have a bit of feeling I'm not gonna do this. Do it this time. Out. I mean this is a long boss too. So yes, your biggest problem in this game is, again, the countdown. And you know what's hilarious? I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. Today's New Year's Eve and I'm filming this and I'm worried about that a countdown's gonna kill me. Isn't that fitting? Ouch. Stop moving. I wanna hit you. I wanna hit you. Ouch. Keeping an eye on the number. Once it gets to three, I'm gonna panic. You only have like three seconds to you stop again. And just as soon as I say it, that was close. Leave me alone. Okay, I think I can do it. If I just if I'm just really lucky, I can probably do it. I can probably do it. Please, please, please. Okay. Okay. Again, just keeping an eye on the numbers, and as soon as I say that, I'm probably gonna be I'm gonna resume probably. Oh boy. And it's at one. I, what? I didn't stop it? I didn't stop it. Crap. Oh. Okay, guys. I'll be back. And I'll, I'm going to resume the video when, well, I get to the part where I pretty much died at. Hopefully, I'll do better then. I'll see you guys then. And I'm back, everyone. We are almost done. And I still have Goofy. Even though Peter Pan didn't make it, I still have Goofy. And I'm feeling good. I think I can get him this time. I hope.
Right, what am I thinking? I'm, I'm sure I will. I'm, I'm staying pretty. I'm staying pretty where I am right now. Although I'm out of magic now, which kind of sucks for me now. I don't know how I'm going to get any more. This just kind of sucks, doesn't it? I just think it does. Oh, there we go. There we go. I have to get a hit to get magic. Okay. Okay. There we go. You happy? Makes perfect sense. You get a hit to get magic. Okay. Sure. Whatever you, whatever works for you, game. And I'm the winner! I learned Critical Plus! Oh, it feels so good to finally beat those bosses. And another heart container. That's awesome. That's in the power of time. Stop, bro. Yep. Yep, that's pretty much it. So that's about it for the two optional bosses you can do. So join us next time while I'm going to head off somewhere else and we are going to fin and we're going to do some unfinished business there. But until then, I'm Chief Skarnick. Sayonara. <laughs>